taken Arizona State's 6-1 loss to St. Mary's College. Starting pitcher Spencer Van Scoy struggled a second week in the Friday night spot. After four walks, two hits, an error, and three earned runs, the left-hander was pulled after two and a third innings. This left a large load on an inconsistent bullpen. This time, Fitz Stadler and Dellen Raish picked up the slack. Despite another rough start, there is still faith that Van Scoy will make an impact in the starting rotation. He can do a better job just getting ahead. I mean, he's been there before. He has it in him, and I think that's going to change his next outing for sure. St. Mary's starting pitcher Nick Frank is a true Friday night starter. His quality start against the Sun Devils proves that. Van Scoy, on the other hand, gave the Gales easy opportunity to score runs. Head coach Tracy Smith said that Van Scoy will be a valuable component in the pitching staff, but it may not be on Friday nights. The Devils need a reliable guy on Fridays if they want to succeed in Pac-12 play. There's no magic wand to this. There's no emotional thing to this. It's like play better baseball. Team gives you an out. You know, take the out. Make them earn every base. We're giving up too many free bases. To make every 90 feet, you got to make them work for it. We're not doing that right now. The Sun Devils are a young team. On Friday, five freshmen started and a sixth came in from the pen. Growing pains are expected, especially early on in the season while ASU's new additions adjust to college ball. Once they settle in, Smith believes that this group will take off. At Phoenix Municipal Stadium, Taylor Rocha, Cronkite Sports.